Welcome to Linus Tech Tips. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Intel Core i3-2105. Now this is a low-end processor, so it might not seem like it would be that interesting to you, but it is, and I will tell you why. This is part of their second generation uh, Core i series processors, so that means that it uses the Sandy Bridge Core, and it has integrated graphics on every single one, whether it's a dual core or a quad core. This one in particular is a dual core, but I want you guys to come in here and have a quick look at this. So you've got two cores, you do have hyper threading, so that means you've got four threads, Intel HD Graphics 3000. That's the interesting part. So this is a low-end chip with a high-end integrated graphics, because remember, the second generation Core Series processors have either HD 2000 or HD 3000 onboard graphics, and the only time we've seen HD 3000 in the past is with the K Series chips. And quite frankly, if you're buying a high-performance, hyper-threaded, turbo-boost, quad-core processor, what on earth are you doing using your onboard graphics in most cases. So this is the first SKU that has a mix that, that I believe makes the most sense, which is the low-end CPU with the higher-end onboard graphics. So high-end onboard graphics means a couple of things. First of all, it means better performance in, well, games, obviously. It's still integrated graphics, but it's on the CPU, better performance in games. It also means better performance in uh, the, the HD graphics accelerated functionality such as Lucid Virtue, which is uh, far more interesting, in my opinion, than necessarily the performance of an Intel HD 3000 graphics solution. Very, very cool technology. I'm going to actually be doing a video on Virtue very shortly, but I, uh, I, I did some media conversions with it. Very impressive. It's so fast. Okay, we've got an integrated memory controller with support for up to dual channel DDR3 memory and a three-year limited warranty. So this is all pretty much stuff we're used to. Now I'll show you guys the product itself really quickly here, but uh, there's not going to be that much interesting. We've got a Core i3 sticker. We've got an Intel certified heatsink solution. So this is a very low power CPU. This particular little guy is rated at 65 watts TDP, so you got a really thin thermal solution. No copper slug necessary in the middle, and you've got a nice four-pin PWM fan there. And last but not least, look at this environmentally friendly packaging. There's a little bit of plastic, but overall not bad. Definitely improving. So there we have it. The Core i3-2105 in all of its glory. It fits in your standard LGA 1155 socket. Do not try to put this in an 1156 board. It will not work. So the main reason for me unboxing this is actually because I want to put it up head-to-head -head against AMD's APU. So here I have an A8 APU, which is a four core processor with uh, discrete level graphics. And then this is Intel's price similar two core processor, also with the highest end Intel onboard graphics. Now bear in mind, Intel CPUs have much higher performance per core than AMD CPUs. This one does have the advantage of hyper threading, but this guy actually has four physical cores. So I think that's going to be an interesting comparison, which I will also be doing in the near future as well. So don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. I'll show the box, it's more interesting.